In this video, we'll take a look at a number of ways to clear and manage the memory to help boost performance. The first place you should start if you're having memory issues is Task Manager. In the Processes tab, you'll be able to see which processes are taking up all your memory. By clicking on the Memory option, you'll be able to organise the processes to see which is consuming the most memory. Over time, it's easy to install lots of applications and software which build up and run in the background on your computer. So if these are no longer needed, go ahead and uninstall these by going to Control Panel and Programs and Features. Handy tip. If you're not sure if a process is a system process or associated with an application, then right click on the application and click Open File Location. Anything in the C Windows folder you should leave, but sometimes this is useful, especially if you want to see where this process is located. Superfetch is a process that sits quietly in the background, constantly analysing RAM usage and learning what kinds of apps you run most often. Over time, Superfetch marks these apps as frequently used and preloads them into RAM ahead of time, and this can have an effect on performance. To disable Superfetch, go to Services and Superfetch. Microsoft has decided to modify the display name to SysMain in its latest build just in case you don't see this. So because I'm running a later version of Windows, the process is now called SysMain. So right click on the SysMain process and go to Properties and stop the process and you want to go to the startup type and you want to set that to disabled. Whenever you turn off your computer, the system RAM is always cleared, but the page file that's stored on your hard drive isn't. Windows uses a paging file as additional virtual memory when your RAM fills up. Windows can clear your page file every time you shut down ensuring no sensitive data is left in the page file on the drive and free up space. To do this, open regedit from the search bar and once that's open, expand the H key local machine and system and current control sets and control and scroll down to session manager and open the memory management OU. So you want to select the clear page file at shutdown key from the list, right click on it and select modify and you want to change this value to 1. So once you've modified the value to 1 you can select OK and reboot your computer for this to take effect. If you don't see this key then you can create it by right clicking in the space and go to new and select the DWORD 32 bit value option and name it clear page file at shutdown and set the value to 1. Windows 10 has some nice visual effects like animations, shadows and aero peak just to name a few. On fast newer PCs these don't usually affect system performance but on slower and older PCs they can have a performance hit. These visual effects are enabled by default and they can have an impact on your system resources causing your computer to run slower. To disable these, go to File Explorer and right click on this PC and go to Properties. From there, go to Advanced System Settings and select the Settings button for Performance. And here you'll be able to select the Adjust for Best Performance. So go ahead and press OK to apply these settings. Standby memory is a special type of RAM management on Windows 10 that often causes the computer to slow down. This is often due to bugs affecting the operating system. A standby memory contains cache data and code that is not actively used. To see how much standby memory is being used, open up Task Manager and go to the Performance tab and then go to Open Resource Monitor. Here, you'll be able to see how much standby memory is actively being used. You can clear this memory using different tools. I've made a video on how to automate the process for this way you can automatically clear the standby memory every five minutes. I'll leave a link in the description for this. It's important to keep your device drivers updated as over time drivers can become outdated and may lead to corrupt driver files. Or you may experience driver conflicts which can lead to memory issues. 
So go to Device Manager to see if you have any old drivers. You can open Device Manager from the search on the taskbar. Alternatively, you can go to Control Panel to open Device Manager as well. Here, have a look for any drivers that have a yellow exclamation mark on them. Now here you can see I don't have any yellow exclamation marks on my drivers, but if you do, this will mean that there's an issue with the driver and it needs attention. Here, right click on the driver and select update driver. Here the system will go and see if it has the correct drivers, but if it doesn't, you'll need to go to the vendor's website to retrieve the latest driver. This will ensure that outdated drivers aren't causing memory issues. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.